opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. Bc4 develops the bishop to an aggressive diagonal where it helps control the d5 square and attacks the f7 pawn. e6 supports the d5 square and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a bishop. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a rook. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to connect rooks. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This blocks the attack on a rook that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The rook is now on an open file which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This leads to losing material. This permits the opponent to capture the checking queen. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. This is the way to win a queen. It is good. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. Capturing that queen wins material. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is best. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is good. This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing knight. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This steps away from the checking knight. It is forced. This forks multiple pieces. It is excellent. This misses a better way to evade the check from the opposing knight. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This steps away from the checking knight. It is forced. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. 
both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.